remember what the haters talking about. What's up, family? Teaching is like a bad marriage. You never get your needs met, but you stay in it for the kids. That is how teacher Amanda Kaufman described the profession she loved so dearly during a school board meeting where she delivered a powerful message to her former students. Kaufman is a former teacher at Indian Woods Middle School in Kansas. She says she resigned because she felt silenced when Shawnee Middle School District issued teachers new three-year contracts. Kaufman says the contracts don't address the concerns or needs that the teachers have fought for in the past. What was conspicuously omitted from her speech was exactly what those needs teachers were fighting for were. I got a pretty good idea because new figures show that 40% of teachers expect to leave the profession by 2024 because of impossible workloads. Many blame an increase in data and reports that they are expected to produce on top of their teaching schedule. Others say that they're expected to deal with social and pastoral care and even knife crimes. How much do you think that the teachers at Shawnee Mission School District make on average? Take a wild guess. Take a wild guess. $70,596. Now, take a wild guess what the raise is. 1%, 5%, 10%, 1 percent family. 1% for the school year 2019 to 20. 1.25%, ooh, they stingy, uh, for 2020 through 2021, and 1.5% for 2021 to 2022. <laughs> that 1% is only an extra $700 a year. Now keep in mind, this is not necessarily what Amanda makes. This is what the teachers make in the school district on average. She could be on the low end or the high end. In any event, she's pissed and she ain't having it, she's done. As the people, in my opinion, who are most important to students besides their own parents, I do believe that teachers should make a lot more money in society than other professions do. But you know how we do it. Entertainers and athletes make more money. You can make an argument for doctors, but not much after that. I just, on a personal note, I don't see it. Now, here's the deal. We all know that education is a hustle. Nothing can get done because there are so many people at the top in these school boards, the supervisors, all these people, even principals. They are not for the kids. They care nothing about the kids. They are there for a paycheck. Now, for the teachers that are there who are really for the kids, salute your few and far between. There used to be a lot more teachers that genuinely cared about students. I've met those teachers. They've taught me. And I wasn't the best student. Easily wasn't the best student to teach and to deal with but they put up with my mess and I saw the good in them but there are too many teachers today who are just going in for the hustle many of the teachers are not even qualified you ask them a question about a problem and they tell you to go read something because they don't know they're just babysitting they don't no, they have no clue as to what to do. Many of these teachers are just simply not 
qualified. But this teacher, Amanda Kaufman, she gets top billing. That speech was very passionate. I have put a link in the description for you guys to click on and watch it for yourself. Very emotional, heartfelt message. And I know those kids are going to miss her dearly. There are just too many teachers who have to dig in their pockets just to buy supplies for their students because the school is not pulling their load. There are some teachers who spend easily over $1,000 a year out of pocket to assist their children. Those are teachers who really care about the students. You have teachers who are doing 12-hour days when they're supposed to be working for eight hours. And they're not being paid overtime, and many of them work on the weekends also. It's ridiculous, man. Supporting these kids and the teachers should be elementary. It should be a no-brainer. Support for the children and the teachers mean a better education system, means a better society. So salute to all the teachers out there, all of the educators out there who are passionate about what you do and care about the children for real. I don't know what we're going to do without you. But if you step away, I understand. A person can only take so much. It's a cold game, man. But I want you to know, we appreciate you. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?